Hey there guys, OGM here, welcome you back to Super Mario 64. So guys, in the last episode, we made it to the very last level of the game. But guys, you might already notice in the corner, I have 115 stars, right? Well guys, I grabbed every single last coin star in the game. And I do mean every single last one. Even, you guys can see right here, the rainbow ride one. I grabbed every single last coin star. It took me forever to do it you don't even understand but now that that thing's completely done and we don't have to go back to do any of those we're actually going to go back and do the rest of the missions in the rainbow ride but you guys might notice that only take us up to 119 well that's because of course just like every other thing there's one star in the bowser level and that'll take you up to your magical 120 and we'll go from there but of course that's going to be a whole nother story when we get to that episode but for now everyone I also wanted to show this off, because I don't think I've actually shown this off properly. My score, it shows you your coins, and it shows you little star spinning too, which is kind of cool. It's a little bit of a, like, hey, congratulations, here's a little stamp of approval. I mean, obviously, I already showed it off that I had it, but just so you guys know. But anyway, here we go. Coins among a maze. Even though that's not what it said at all, regardless, that's what I'm going to call it. So, I know this level now, like the back of my hand. I played it forever. This mission alone for the coins, because there's less than 100 coins in this mission unless you get the blue coins i kept missing the blue coins and it sucked so because of that i had to play this mission over and over and over and over and over and over and over did i say over yeah maybe throw in like two more overs in there and we got it but anyway i had to play this mission for over probably an hour to have to do it right because i kept dying or i kept missing the blue coins but i know where everything is and so that's good except for one star i know where three of the four are and we're going to go ahead and grab them. But first things first. Blue switch right there. Make sure that you grab it because you need the blue coins in this level. There's no way around it. Also, fun fact, the bomb buddy is up top as well. We're going to go ahead and talk to him. And we'll go from there. In order to get up here, though, you need to actually do a little slide jump if I can actually activate it. There we go. And we just got to wall jump all the way up. And, of course... Uh, it's been a while since I've done this now because I had to take a break after I did those coins and now that I've done that I can't wall jump of course. I was making it up here so fast though and now I can't even do it. Oh there we go. Cool. Okay that wasn't that bad. But now we have to talk to little Babom buddy. Hello Babom buddy. I've missed you. I'll prepare the cannon for you. And now you know where he is and I'm pretty sure I've already prepared the cannon. I just didn't know if I got a game over when I prepared the cannon or not but there you go. I've prepared the cannon now. Now we just have to grab the eight red coins. Alright, so right there's one. Now we have to go ahead and get up, and that's always the hard part, because this part, you gotta, like, I think you gotta slide jump up to it? I don't remember. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now that we're up here, let's go ahead and drop down, and there's a couple coins down here I want to grab right away. We gotta grab this one. That's two. And we'll go back. And we're gonna just go ahead and jump up, and it's gonna have the other ones that I want. If I can actually get up there. Look, can I just flip? Okay, that's perfect. Grab this one. Don't get burned. Okay, grab this one. Now we're going to go ahead and go up again. There we go. Grab this one. And now we got to go on little step to go ahead and flip up. And when we do that, it'll get us right onto the platform. Perfect. Go over. And I fall. But no, actually what you want to do now is there's a coin right there. You can see the shadow. And there's a coin on the other side. So you actually need to get a little bit of distance between you and the coin. And the reason why is because you either need to triple jump or you have to do a little bit of a super jump in order to get to the other one. Just depends on which one you want to go for. And at this rate, I don't know what one we're going to go for because I can't actually get on the platform. All right, here we go. Flip up. And let's try this one first. If I can get up there. Okay, good. Now I have to be very careful and then go. Perfect. And then I fell down, of course. Of course I did. Why not? It wouldn't be that easy, right? It's never that easy. But it's not that hard to get in there, which you guys just saw. So, let's go ahead and wall jump up again and jump over everything. Because, you know, why not? Who needs actual progress? Who wants to just go around forever on the same level? That's what we want to do, of course. Right? No, just me? Okay, this is awkward. All right, so now you have to do a double jump. So, you're going to go one and fall, actually. I was going to go one, two, and then get up. But that's not what happened. So, flip up again. We got to go. Ready? Mario, turn. Turn, buddy. Get off the wall, man. It does not like you like that. One two will be on the second one so here we go guys one two and there you go eight coins done really simple start to get especially like if you know how to traverse the maze 
It's not hard at all. It's just a matter of looking for the shadows. And then minus the fiery balls that want to kill you. Like that one right there. And then there you go. Eight stars. Or, yes, eight stars down. No, eight coins down. One star. We're good. Coins amassed in a maze. Or coins among a maze, if that's what you want to call it. Like me. Because it's fine. Coins can be in a maze. It can be in a maze. It's fine. But here we go, guys. Swinging in the breeze. So this time, instead of going straight, we are actually going to go to the left. I think we've gone to the right as well, because I think that's where the castle in the sky and the boat were. But yes, this time we're actually going to go to the left, because the left has two stars that we need. It's going to have this one, and I'm hoping the next one, because I know where it is. Because I know that last one, like, oh, crap. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm dead. I should have been paying attention. But no, that last one that I have to find, whatever one that's going to be, because... I honestly don't know where it is. It's going to be very difficult to have to find because I have no idea where to look. We already have two on the one side with the bow and the castle in the sky, right? There's two there. We have the two on the side I'm about hopefully going to be getting next. Unless it's going to be like this one and then like number six would be it, which would suck. Then we have the one directly, I guess it'd be directly in front because it goes like two, two, two. But... I mean, you guys saw there's no way to move in those red coin area. It's just the red coin. So that's why I'm a little confused. Maybe it's going to be like 2, 3, 1, maybe? Or like 1, 2, 3, depending on how you... I don't know. Regardless, I'm a little worried about where that other one is because I actually have no idea where it could be. But here we go. We're going to the left now. And when we're here, dodge Lackey 2 because he wants to just throw everything at you. But the star is actually right there. You guys can see it right here. Well, okay, good. Uh, in between the X? Yeah, perfect. Right in between the X, you guys can see the star spinning. That's the one we actually need to go to now. So let's go ahead and just drop down here. Watch out for the fly guy because he wants to murder you. And put down the bridge so we can go ahead and move up. So go up. Good. Now wait for the little pendulum or pedestal or swinger, I guess is what you want to call it. I don't know. What would you call it? I would call it a swinging pedestal. I mean, it, it just says swing. So I guess just like, oh, it could actually just be called a swing too. I just thought of that. Just call it a swing would work perfectly. Donut blocks, don't kill me. There we go. And then fire, you're probably going to want to murder. Ooh. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, that's fine. Also, that was really close, too. I forgot that this was like a moving, spongy block of death. But also, fun fact, right there's your triangles over there. You guys can see them right there. Uh, those tri... Okay, that's actually better. Right there, those triangles hold the next star or the sixth star. Regardless, it's one of them, and that's where one of them are. There's a switch you have to hit, the triangles flip, and congratulations. But no, we actually have to get the swing one. I didn't realize you could actually see the maze from here. That's kind of cool. I actually never realized you could see that maze. That's really cool, actually. Get a nice look at it before you actually have to jump in there. All right, don't die to the fire. Wait, what just happened? Did I, like, did I lose momentum there? Like, the swing started to go backward, and I lost my momentum? That really just happened. There's no way that that just happened with just a little swing like that. I mean, momentum is a big thing in this game. We have seen that with quite a few objects. But come on, there's no way that a swing like j just stops and like starts to go back can make you lose your momentum like that. Come on. There's no way. I'm calling shenanigans. Go ahead and jump. Oh, that was too early. That was too early. I just thought about that. That's too early. Get back on the carpet. And dodge the fire. Perfect. Now that we've done that, Star, you will be mine. I see you over there, just chilling by the one, thinking that you are number one. No, Star, you're not number one. Mr. Coin is number one. You are not. All right, here we go. Drop on down. You know, crush yourself, because who, who needs a life? No one needs a life, dude. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about Mario. He is just pure rubber at this point. I mean, he's dropped so many times, and the times I was getting coins... And, I mean, you guys have seen it in Let's Play how many times like he's gotten flat like a pancake. This guy has no bones left. He probably is a pancake. It's fine. Don't worry about Mario. He probably likes pancakes. Even though he's Italian, he's fat enough for pancakes. Who doesn't like pancakes? And if you're one of those people... I just thought of this. If you're one of those people that's like, I like waffles more. No, they're the exact same thing. Pancakes or waffles are the exact same thing. One just has holes. Ooh. Like, one has, like, pools for your syrup to go ahead and gather in. Everything else, though, is the exact same. Exact same batter, just different shapes. It's really all it is. I will fight you all to the death for that concept. It's fine. All right, here we go. Jump. Ugh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Goomba, come here. I don't want to have to deal with you when I'm trying to go up. Goomba, come here. 
Goomba. What, what are you doing, buddy? Are, are you not going to... He's not going to come, is he? Okay, there we go. And squish your face. Okay, well, hold on. And squish your face. Okay, what's he doing? He's just... Cool. I don't know what he... Okay, you know what? Buddy, you're a little drunk. You can stay over there. I don't need you. It's fine. And here we go. Get ready. Jump down. And let's not lose momentum this time. Does that sound good? I hope so. Here we go. Run up. You totally lose momentum on that. Did you guys just see me like, go up a little bit and that was it? You totally lose momentum when that thing stops. That's insane. That's weird. We didn't lose momentum on the first one, but on the second one, you completely lose your momentum. That is insane, actually. But it's okay. Here we go. Off to Tricky Triangles. So, guys, like I said... Oh, actually, no. I just thought about this one. This is on the other side again. So, the star I don't know, of course, is the last star, which means I have roughly 20-ish minutes, probably, by the time that I get done getting this star to find it. This will be fun. And when I say fun, I mean this is going to be very depressing because triangles I can do. I know where the switch is. I know how to flip them. I know how to fall off a ladder. Ladder? No. Yes, I know how to fall off a ladder. No, I know how to fall off a carpet. But I have no idea where the other one is. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. It's fine. Here we go, though. Tricky triangles, I'm ready for you. Hope you're ready for me. Me and my one life. I have one life to live. This is really, really nerve-wracking. But I guess, it. to be honest, it has been my fault. I've been making a lot of stupid mistakes when I'm trying to go for it. Except for that platform. I had no idea about the momentum thing. That was a legitimate death. And I, I completely respect that one. But everything else, it was like, really? Really, did I just do that? And the answer was yes. Yes, I did. Here we go. Jump off. What? What did... No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. What what just happened right there? Hold on. Hold on. I want to rewind that for a second. What? Did I, I bounced off the plat. Why did I not? Okay. Hold on. Can I just wall jump over there? Or not wall jump, but long jump. I just thought of this. Can I just? I could totally just long jump. I did not know you could do that. I did not know you could do that. The more you know. I honestly never knew you could do that. I was, I've obviously always gone for the coins because I needed it for the 100 coins. But I obviously never knew that you could do that. That was amazing. Anyway, though, yeah, like, did I did I just bounce off the platform or something? I have no idea what just happened right there. That was odd. Very, very, very odd. All right, so here we go again. And if I die getting this last star, I'm going to be very, very upset because I'm already here. Now, if I die getting the last star, that's fine because I don't know where it is. But this one, if I die, I mean, I'm right here. It's going to be very upsetting. Let's, let's turn the platform because apparently I cannot see depth. This is what I've learned today. My depth perception is off. I don't know why, but it is. All right, now this is going to be fun. And by fun, I mean this is going to be upsetting. Because I have to wait for the fire. All right, here we go. Perfect. And now here is the switch to go ahead and get up the triangles. Jump on it, and we go. We go. We go again. I hit that one. I didn't mean to hit that one. I want the extra life, though. Okay, good. Now that I have the extra life... <gasps> okay, well, that happened. I'm glad I got that extra life, but, you know, you know, what I was trying to do is I was trying to grab the extra life to go back and hit the switch, not get the extra life and lose the extra life. That was disappointing. All right, here we go. Jump to the pole. Perfect. Fly guy, you stay right there. That's such a time saver, man. That's such a time saver. I wish I knew that. I mean, it's fine. I needed the coins anyway in the last time that I had to do it, but there's an extra life right there. I could probably grab that, but it's fine. I don't need it. Especially with me going back to the triangles each time, I won't need it. I'll be fine. Because regardless, one time I'm going to get it, and I'm going to live with it in order to obviously get the star, so it's completely fine. There we go. Jump over that one. Go to the platform. Keep going, Mario. Don't stop. You are the champ right now. Holy crap. I'm actually going really well right now. If I could just keep going. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. That was like the speed run technique right there. All right. Here we go. Let's grab that extra life. Or not. I was going to say, let's grab that extra life and then go back, but that's not what happened. All right, let's try that again. Hit the switch. Go back. Okay, seriously, Mario, you need to you need to calm down, man. You really do need to calm down. I don't know what he. Okay, okay. Calm down. Here we go, Mario. Calm down, nice and slow. Go up. Grab the mushroom. And now land. Thank you. Okay, now that I have the extra life, let's actually do this the right way now. So, 
what you're meant to do, and I have actually done it, is you're meant to go like right here, and then you're meant to slide backward, like do one of the little side flips, and then you go fast. And that's just how you make it, because the platform has the star. And you, obviously, the platforms you guys see switch, which is the issue. Also, I've gone at an awkward angle, so I have to go back. It's so, like, tight, man. Like, there's no question about it. It's so tight, it's ridiculous. Like, these things are just like, hey, you want to walk with us? That's fine. But you only have, like, 30 seconds before we turn back into a pumpkin. Oh, go, go, go. Okay, good. There we go. Perfect. Well, that's 118. We're done. We're done. With the stars, I know what that is. Now we have to do the star that I don't know. Which is the one that's the most concerning. Here we go. Number 119, which holds the key for everything. Somewhere over the rainbow. Because, you know, who doesn't love a good, you know, a good movie of Wizard of Oz? I'm the main character, after all. I mean, who doesn't love Oz? I'm the main character. I'm the most important, whatever you say. I have all the magic in my hand, and I'm a gigantic floating head. You can't tell me I'm not. My name is in it. And if you tell me I'm wrong, then you're clearly wrong. You've never read the book or seen the movies. I am the most important. It's fine. Uh, now, again, where do we go? Actually, you know what? I'm going to stand right here on this block. Right here. Oh, come on, man. Again? Seriously. Seriously. What? There's no way that I'm missing that. There's absolutely no way I'm missing that. I don't care what anyone says. There's no way I am missing. You know what? Fine. We'll just do it like this. But I'm telling you right now, there's absolutely no way that I'm missing that at all. I cannot say with a sound mind... That is being missed. Alright. I want to look around here, though. Somewhere over the rainbow. Is there anywhere we've not... Have we been on the crow's nest? I don't think we've actually been on the crow's nest. We've not... Okay, there's random rings in the sky. And... Uh... Platform. I think... Hold on. What was on the plank? No, that, okay, that was the star. We've never been on the crow's nest, and I still don't know what that is. That ring. Because I just realized that there's a ring in the sky. I've never seen that ring before. And then there's a platform right there, which is attached to nothing. So I'm going to guess somewhere over the rainbow. Do we have to shoot over the rainbow and then just, like, land on the platform? Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, that'll be real fun. And when I say fun, I mean this is going to suck. All right, here we go. Uh, I guess we got to go like this. Like this, like this, and then dodge a lackey too. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead. Stop it, Mario. I was going to try to flick my camera. That way I could see. All right, perfect. Now we have to go up. And we got a very long ride ahead of us because we can't miss, but at the same time, we have to get off on the ship. I don't remember what way is the actual ship. I think it's to the right? Maybe? Don't quote me on that because I'm honestly confused on where we have to go. Uh, opposite of the boxes, I know that, because the boxes lead to the castle in the sky. So, maybe it's to the left. It looks like it's to the left, actually. I might be wrong. I don't know, though. Get off on there. Watch out. And down. Perfect. Also, I'm really close to the edge. I just realized that. Lackey 2, please do not do this. Okay, I'm going to the left. I'm going to the left, not the right. The right leads you to the castle in the sky. All right, where are we going now? Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I remember this part. So this is where we have to go up. We have to dodge the fire, because the fire's coming. And it looks like we actually might just dodge automatically, which is nice. Yeah, that was nice. Okay, we have to dodge this. Shoot. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, go up. We're still good. The camera really wants to kill me right now, because I'm, like, clipping through everything with the camera. And then everything else is just getting in my way. Perfect. All right, we're good. We're good. We're at the castle. Or we're, Yes, we're at the castle. No, we're actually at the boat, which is perfect, because now we can just go ahead and go around and go over the little blue platforms, which should be simple, and we should be home free. Should be home free. Go, Mario. You're good, buddy. You're good. Don't you dare stop for anything, Mario. Perfect. Perfect? Question mark? Okay, donut blocks. Don't kill me. Ooh, no, 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 no. Mario, what are you doing? You made it to the top. Mario... Mario, what are you doing? You see, okay, buddy, we're going to have a talk here while we're going up this thing. You have one job, okay? You just keep looking at me. Don't worry about anything. You look at me. You have one job, okay? One job. Hey, hey, hey. 
good. You keep looking at me, dude. Sir? Sir, what did I... I told you to look at me. You don't look at anyone else. You're giving me some lip. You're giving me some sass over there, Mario. Oh, he's giving me some sass. He's making me look at his back. Oh, Mario, you're you're done now. You are done now, sir. I'm going to smack you after this episode when no one's watching, Mario. It's going to be you and me. We're going out in the back alley. We're going to fight. We're going to scrap so hard. A boy from Brooklyn and me. I feel like the boy from Brooklyn might win, actually. <gasps> oh, well, yep. He's giving me sass, dude. Mario's like, hey, 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 you want to see something cool? And he jumps off. Mario's giving me sass. He's giving me sass like no other right now. He is Mr. Sassy Pants over here. Ooh, wow, that, that was amazing. That was, wow, well, that's done. We're done. We're done here. Everyone, we're done. Go home. Pack up. Episode's over. No more. We don't care. Game over, guys. We love no one. Love is over. We're done. No, it's fine. We actually have four lives now, so it's it's actually pretty good that we have four lives because now we have five chances to go ahead and get up there again. I feel like I still say that the cannon up there, like the, not the cannon, what, oh, why did I say a cannon? Um, the pirate ship. I guess I was thinking pirate ship cannon. But no, I feel like the pirate ship probably holds it because I saw that little rainbow ring. Again, I don't know what that is. I've never seen it. And we've never been on the crow's nest either. So if I go up to the crow's nest, I might be able to just look around for a minute. Because that rainbow ring looked pretty solid compared to every other rainbow in the in the level so far. And normally solid things mean like, hey, it's colored different. Or hey, this looks funny. You should go and check it out. And lo and behold, it normally has it. In this case, I think it's one of those moments. Let's go ahead and get in the hole again. And now we go in the hole. Mario is okay with this. He's like, all right, I got this. I'm going to go in all the holes land in a cloud fill area because you know every hole that you go in man you land in clouds don't you know you're on cloud nine when you enter a hole it's fine don't question mario in his logic he can be on cloud nine when he goes in a hole you can be on cloud nine if you go in a hole just go go okay tips for everyone go home dig a hole okay when you go in it clouds are technically water if you guys have ever dug down deep enough in a hole you're gonna get water out so mario's not wrong if you if you go in a hole you can get wet. It's fine. You could be on cloud nine as well. Ooh. Wow. Kill the Lackey 2 too. That was perfect, actually. Lackey 2 actually might have saved us. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, anyway, moral of the story. Go in a hole. Dig it. Make it as big as you want. Make it as tiny as you want. I don't care. If you guys like big holes, go for the big hole. If you guys like for the tiny hole, go for a tiny hole. Then when you're in it, just keep digging down, down, and get deeper and deeper in there. And then you're going to come out wet if you go deep enough. It's fine. Don't question it. I've done it. I had to dig a hole this summer. I had to dig several holes this summer because I just put in a pool this summer. And I dug a lot of holes. Haley and myself both did. And we both came out soaked. Oh, am I dead? Am I dead right now? I am so dead. The level was the level was like, yo, you didn't jump. You're dead now. I don't know what just happened. Though. Like I shrunk down, but I didn't take damage. Then all of a sudden, like it killed me off. That was weird. Like, I understand, like, you get squished in this game, so it's like, it shrinks you down. But I should have, like, taken damage or something, but it didn't give me any damage. It's like, hey, you're big, let's squish you. Let's make you tiny. Grr. All right, here we go, the last try, and then I'll just cut it to when I get up to the pirate ship, because I don't want you guys to have to watch me go over the rainbow a million times, even though I'm not really going over rainbow right now. I'm just kind of going around and around and around. I think this is why this level took me so long for the 100 coins, because it's just like the traveling alone takes like a minute, maybe two to get around. And then after that, you still have to go ahead. Ooh, long jump. Perfect. And then you still have to go around and grab all the coins that are in the area. And if you die, obviously you start with zero coins again. So it's like, oh crap, what do I have to do now again? I feel like that's why this level took me forever, because this level alone, I'm not even kidding. Like in order to get all the coins, because it's been forever since I've played the level, I don't know where the coins are, and I had to do it. I think this level alone took me like an hour and a half to do all the 100 coins for. Again, I kept missing the blue coins, and I fully admit to that, but everything else, there you go. So here we go, going up, and I wish I could see better, I really do, because I really want to know about that rainbow ring, but I, I don't know about it, which is really upsetting. Good job, Mario. Also, I just realized the camera's complete, completely the wrong way now, which is fine. All right, here we go. Here we go. Can I zoom out? Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better, actually. Jump right here. Lackey 2, you stay right there, dude. You do not mess with me, please. Right, what's that pole even lead to? Does it just go up? You can go up the pole? 
to the platform, but what are you supposed to do when you get to the platform? Because the platform's not all the answers. Unfortunately, that platform won't save you. You'll just go around in circles for an extra life. Yay! I mean, extra lives are good, but... You want progress in the level, right? So why would you just take a platform? There's nothing else... You, unless, like, you can maybe jump to the blue squares that you're supposed to jump over. Maybe you can do that, but that seems really risky just for, like, some blue squares. That seems really, really risky, but it's fine. Whatever. If that's what they want to do, they can do it that way. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it the way it's designed. I'm not a speedrunner, and I fully admit to it. Jump up and down and down. Ooh, ooh, Mario, Mario, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you? I don't know what he just did right there, but I will take it, even though I don't think I should be alive. You know, I shouldn't have said I don't think I should be alive. I really don't, because when I said that, that's what dropped me off. So, with that, I did say I'd make a cut. I'll go ahead and cut it right here with Mario driving on the rainbow. And I will be right back to when I actually get up on the pirate ship, because I have no idea why I can't get up there. For whatever reason, I'm having a very difficult time getting up there right now. So guys, with that, I'll return here in one minute. Enjoy Mario going around the curve. Be right back, everyone. Got it, finally. All right, here we go. So now that I'm on the pirate ship, I'm gonna take a moment here, just look around because that's totally it. That is totally it. Over the rainbow, right there. But where do we go exactly? I have no idea because the pirate ship has the crow's nest. And where's this take you? Is that the cannon? Well, I actually don't remember. Right there's the cannon. Okay, perfect. Maybe I can land it in the cannon. I feel like this is probably what you have to do. All right. Now I have one shot at this or I'm going to die. There's nowhere I have a single shot at this. Oh boy, this is terrible actually. I have a single shot. This is oh my. Okay, um I have no idea where to shoot this. Like I'm really trying to think cuz like you're going to arc either way and I don't have a wing cap to like guide myself. Okay, well, here we go. Here's the hoping, guys. Somewhere over the rainbow. I'm going to shoot right over the rainbow and hope for it. Here we go. Over the rainbow. It worked. It worked, and there's a Chucky up here. Are you kidding me? There's a Chucky up here. If I fail right now, it's because of this Chucky. Go. Go. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Done. Oh, my gosh. The Chucky. The Chucky. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was that was something else. That Chuckya would have just killed me. Wow, man. They really wanted you to die on that star. Don't worry though, I lost a life trying to do that. But guys, we've done it. 119 stars. Next time everyone, we do what I've been waiting for this whole let's play. This beautiful lady. Or kind of I guess, scared lady <laughs> thinks a better way to describe it. But yes, this this lady, let's just call her a lady. This lady right here, she's going to be saved by us. Or someone. Remember, I already told you, Mario is just the plumber that they needed. Or just, rather, had around. Not the one they needed, just the one they had around. Yeah, that's what it was. Regardless, though, everyone. Next time, we save Peach. I'm really excited for this. We have 119 stars. One star to go, guys. One prince to save, one life to live, and Mario, this is not the time for you to be sleepy, dude. You just ruined the whole entire outro. Thank you for that. Anyway, guys, if you guys like this, like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, OGM, signing out.